All right, people, check this out. Look at me, all masked up in my palace gear, all soft shells. I'm shelled. I'm like a ninja turtle shell. So I've got my shell pants on and my soft shell top on from week one's drop. I thought I'd take you through some of the details of this. Obviously, I'm a bit muffled, so I'm going to hide this mask away. Interesting point. I was like, oh, can it detach? And can't detach it's fully sort of sewn in but what I noticed I could do is just have it on the back like that how's the air Becky all right sweet brilliant so yeah so you can have it tucked in around the back like that and it's disappeared not causing me any bother at all so um, that's quite a nice little touch happy with that because was a bit annoyed when I could see you couldn't take the mask off anyway well look while I'm standing here like this, just gonna quickly whip through the pants and then we'll spend a lot more time going through the details on this jacket because there's plenty to say about this. So, on the shell pants, here we go, slant pocket, as they're called, with the palace graphic along like that. It's got a zip in there, quite a deep pocket. That's quite useful, isn't it? Although, well, I don't know if it is useful, but having a pocket all the way down there, not sure. But that's it. Elasticated uh, cuffs around the ankles. It's quite lightweight, soft feeling to it. Around the back, you'll see it's got another zip pocket. Good for the blower, put that in there. And then zip pockets on the sides. Like I say, it's a really lightweight feeling material, this, and it is. Um, it's lined with like a mesh, pretty standard. And I quite like this, I've seen this before on the inside of their trousers, little money pocket. So I guess it's quite good for like putting your coins in all the rest of it or whatever you've got. Uh, it's got a zip, it's sort of like pull string to, um, around the waist, elasticated waist slightly. These are a size uh, large and um, I actually think around the waist and the bum it's all right, but. The length you see is quite baggy. I know that's the style, I'm not sure I like it myself. Looks okay, looks okay. So that's the shell pants, yeah. Not too much to them to be honest with you. Reckon they'll dry off pretty quick, so if you're into a bit of yachting, something like that, and uh, they're getting wet and then they'll just dry off nice and quick in the wind. Guess that's what they're thinking about, isn't it, people going yachting. Right, so let's move up. Gonna get a bit closer because um, then you can really see the jacket full up. So Becky's gonna come in a bit closer and uh, we'll take you through the uh, the main event, if you like. Here we go then, let's go. All right, people, welcome back. You're in a bit closer now, so we can have a look at the details of this soft shell Gore-Tex uh, jacket in olive. Um, quite happy with this, size large, fits pretty well. Right size, I'd say, on the cuffs and all the rest, it's all fitting. I'm gonna start from the top. It's got this really, really sturdy wire through the peak of the hood here, so you can shape that up however you want, which is going to be handy to keep the rain off. Not had a chance to get it in the rain yet, but I um, can imagine because it's soft shell and it's Gore-Tex Infinium, and they do different ranges within the Infinium, uh, Infinium range, and so some of them are just windproof, some of them are water resistant some of them are waterproof it's got a lining on the under on the side of this which is like fleece lining to it so it makes it quite warm and cozy like i say i'm not sure if it's 100 percent waterproof or not I guess you can check out the technical details on the palace website if you're unsure but um yeah most soft shells do keep you dry fully and it also this one's keeping me pretty warm it's a bit of a breeze, it's under 10 degrees, uh, but the sun's out and I feel all right. I've just got a t-shirt on underneath. Um, yeah, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, from the hood, got that nice hard wire peak. It's, that's really, I like it when they had the wire in the peak so you can shape depending on the weather. And uh, like I was, oh yeah, just quickly, while we're on the hood, you've got two drawstrings there to tighten stuff up if you need to. They tuck away quite nicely. Now talking about tucking away, I mentioned about the mask and it is a feature mask. But what I notice is if you don't want it, you can obviously tuck it behind your head. But if you do want it, 
just slip it back on. And it's actually a full balaclava, as you maybe can pick it up there. It's actually making a full balaclava, sort of. It's like two bits of material there. So you've got some extra warmth across your forehead and across your face. I mean, it's just a cloth, a piece of cloth, isn't it? So it's, it's probably enough to pop into the corner shop and get yourself a can of Stella, but um, not going to protect you from any viruses. But it does look pretty awesome, doesn't it? Does look wicked. Really happy with that. It's probably better, do you know, than to just do that to get rid of it. it doesn't really bother me. And like I say, it sort of lays flat. It's really soft and light, so I don't doesn't bother me on the back of my neck there. I don't really even feel it. So um, it's probably a bit better than that North Face one that I had, um, the Foot Patrol one, where you actually had to pop off the mask stick it in your pocket, it's the sort of thing you can lose as well, at least you're not going to lose this and um, gives you two different looks, doesn't it? So that's quite nice, quite happy with that. Um, keep on going down, it's got a nice meaty, so that's good when you've got your gloves on, isn't it, if it's raining or cold, to so pull down that and unzip. It's a pretty sturdy zip, pretty happy with that. Unzips all the way down. On the inside, it gives a bit more, here we are, it's comfort and performance, that's Gore-Tex and Finium's uh, words, not mine. And um, you can see the fleece lining of it. We'll get into this, this is a bit of an interesting feature on this jacket. It's kind of got it on the cuffs as well, where it's half soft shell and half this I don't know how to, it's, it is like a neoprene. And it's got it around the uh, front here, but not around the back. And I'll show you a bit more on that in a sec. Just on the inside, you've got your two draw cords here and here to pull it in, make it feel a bit better, a bit tighter. The wind's going up and down. Um, nice logo, it's all right, isn't it? Everyone knows. Two zip pockets, lined pockets. That's a good, that's a thumbs up for me. I like a lined pocket, I'm just gonna rest in that for a second. And then I'll spin around, you can see that the shape of the back has got a little bit of a drop on the hem so that um, it covers up your bum a little bit more. Good for protecting your phone in the back pocket, isn't it? So you can see that. See that there? That's dropping down. And then, um, yeah, like I say, it's neoprene on there, but then, or near, I don't know, soft shell, finium, and then neoprene on the front. It's a design feature, I don't, can't really work out why you'd do it like that other than just for it for aesthetics really same with the cuffs isn't it so it's got a bit of Gore-Tex brand on there which I do like I'll be honest with you it is nice and then that's it really it's kind of that's your jacket looks quite nice doesn't it what do you think let me know in the comments speak soon bye